Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. I am so glad that you're here. I am so happy we get to spend some time together. Carol Burnett Show, I'm so glad we had this time together. I will not sing. I am the only Italian in the world that can't sing. My father, my father was deaf. S voice of an angel. He sung so beautifully. He even called him Sinatra. That was his nickname, Sinatra, because he sang so beautifully. Me? Skips a generation, I guess. So, but I digress. What we're talking about today is uh, distractions. See, I got distracted. And this has become a big issue in healthcare uh, because with people working from home now, they don't have the boss looking over their shoulder so much. And so more and more people are getting distracted. And it becomes not only uh, socially an issue, but it becomes uh, a safety issue because you're not paying attention. And if you're raising children and if you're driving a car and if you're just being alive, it becomes an issue. So we're talking about the main ways people get distracted, but more importantly, I'm telling you what to do about it. And it's really kind of cool because uh, if you're like me, your brain races constantly and Garrett's the same way. And we have to sometimes sit down and refocus each other to make sure, and Garrett's my producer, if you don't know who Garrett is. And sometimes that distraction issue is a big issue. And we've done a lot of things to help ourselves pr uh, focus. Uh, I know we, we've dimmed the lights. I work so much better. I think Garrett does too with dimmer lights. We just put a dim light on and then we can focus on our computer or whatever we're doing. When there's a lot of bright lights, it's a lot of input. And sometimes people have very active brains. It's tough for that to uh, be filtered out. So we talked uh, earlier, we talked about uh, technological things that are causing us to be distracted. Now I'm going to talk about more physical things that are causing distraction. And one of the big ones is stress. I mean, how many people have stress? We all do, right? Stress is part of life. But many times you have too much on your plate or you have too little on your plate. That's a dangerous place to be too. It's not that you have too much input, you don't have enough input. And then you start thinking and your mind races. And uh, I've always said that uh, a lot of people I've known in all relationships is that if they have too much free time, that's dangerous. I like people that are active and keeping themselves, their brain working uh, for their own health. So it can be hard to focus on individual tasks if you have too much on your plate. Uh, to make matters worse, stress is, takes a noticeable toll, toll on your body. You can develop pain, neck pain, back pain, headaches, heart racing. So when it comes to stress, there's three types of stress that we want to address. Chemical, physical, and emotional stress or mental stress. Chemical stress is probably the easiest one to deal with because it's what you eat and what you surround yourself with. So I see people all the time, I've been doing this for a long time, and they'll have a meatball sandwich with provolone cheese, which by the way was one of my favorite foods in the world way back when, and maybe a soda or diet soda even worse, and then maybe some french fries, that's a chemical stress on your body. And there's not anything in the world that's going to get you over that except time. Your body has to break all that junk down and try to pass it out. So chemical stress is easy. You have control. So if you're putting bad foods, I call them the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. If you're putting the seven deadly sins in your body, that's a chemical stress. It's distracting because it takes a lot of energy to break down food. Number one consumer of energy we have as humans is romance. Keep it clean. Number two consumer of energy is digestion. And the hardest thing we have to digest is animal proteins. So meat, butter, cheese, yogurt, eggs, ice cream. And so you wanna consider getting those foods out of your diet. So from a chemical standpoint, if you cut out alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, or at least cut back on them, the chemical stress is gonna be reduced dramatically. And you're going to see a dramatic change in brain function because the brain works better when it's fueled properly. And if you're giving it junk fuel, it doesn't work really well. So chemical stress is easy. If you don't know what to eat, go to our website, drjoe.com, D-R-J-O-E, and type in the seven deadly sins in nutrition. And that should bring you to a show that I did on the seven deadly sins. It was actually a lecture we did out in California. Then type in, so what can I eat? And that's an hour segment. I was in a studio all by myself, and I just talked for an hour about what to eat, breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks. So do that, and that's going to give you a really good starting point to deal with the chemical stress that is causing so much of a diversion and your ability to concentrate. So your body's trying to detoxify itself, and it's, it says, what's more important, getting this junk out of the system or the fact that you got work to do? Well, getting junk out of the system is more important. you got to stay alive. And so just consider the chemical stresses that you're doing every single day and how that's really breaking your concentration. And I promise you, when you're able to do that, you'll be fascinated at the results. So chemical stress is a biggie. 
Mental stress. We all have mental stress. Mental stress is every day, everywhere, everything you do. Driving, eating, cleaning your house, getting to work on time, dealing with people, dealing with stupid people. Uh, so there's always that, chem- that mental stress that's going on. But here's the thing. I can't change a lot of the things in your life that are mental stresses. I can't change the fact that you are broke up with your significant other. I can't change the fact you had death of a loved one. I can't change the fact you lost your job unless you're really good and we hire you. But I can change your chemical and your physical stresses. And then you're able to deal with those mental stresses even better. How many people would love to not have so much mental stress in their lives? Every one of us. So what do we do with that? We got to fix the physical. Okay, if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, pain is exhausting. And it's very stressful on the body. And it's distracting. If I had a nail in my foot right now, if I had a headache, I couldn't focus on doing a show. You couldn't focus on taking care of your family. You couldn't focus on being a, a good boyfriend, girlfriend, mother, father, sister, brother, churchgoer, coworker, because the pain is overriding everything. So one of the biggest things that we can address is stress because we have so many tools to deal with. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, headaches, come see us. My team of doctors are really good at fixing pain every single day when I'm in the office. And we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. I work out in Marietta office. Patients stop me in a hall and say, thank you. Dr. Joe, I cannot thank you enough. I have learned so much from your shows. Nothing in the world is as good as your shows. And I hear this all the time. I just heard it from one of my coworkers today. Uh, she thinks we're the number one show on radio right now. And I think we are the number one health show, actually, but she loves it the most. And they say, what you taught me. And then coming to see you guys for neck pain and back pain and getting chiropractic care, medical treatments and trigger point therapies. She says, I cannot tell you how amazed I am and how happy I am to get my life back. And then they're able to focus more. And that's what we're talking about today is focus and concentration. So if you have pain, come see us. You can book right online, drjoe.com. We'd love to get you an appointment. The initial visit was $375. We've reduced that to $199. We accept insurances, Medicare, car accidents, sports injuries, Uh, If you've ever been in a car accident, in my opinion, if the car was damaged, you were damaged 100% of the time. So you need to come see us immediately. Don't waste time because the insurance companies play that against you. Well, you didn't go to the doctor right away, so we're not going to pay your bills. Well, I didn't have a car because your person you insured, idiot, smacked in the rear and crushed me. Yeah, but we're not going to cover your bills now because you didn't go to the doctor. And now you got a battle on your hands. Just come to us right away. And everybody in a car needs to be seen. Everybody good for your case, but it's also good for your health. So so physical stress is really good. Chem- easy uh, in most cases. Chemical stress, you have control over what to eat. We talked about that. If you fix those two, a lot of the mental stress goes away, and then you're able to focus more efficiently. Because when mental stress kicks in, man, it's real. Depression is real. Sadness is real. Anxiety is real. Now, we can also fix physically a lot of the mental problems. If you have digestive issues, acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, anybody have that? Raise your hands. That's going to affect how your body digests food. And if your stomach specifically isn't digesting proteins properly, proteins break down into amino acids. The amino acid tryptophan becomes serotonin. Serotonin is the neurotransmitter in your brain that lets you focus. So ADD, ADHD, anxiety, depression, bipolar, even suicidal patients – Every patient I've ever had with a mental disorder, 100% of them, this is 36 years now, plus my schooling, so probably 40 years, every one of them has had a digestive issue that was never addressed. Now, it may not be the only cause, but it's part of the cause. So many times your stomach can push up against your diaphragm. And a very simple fix is we take the stomach and we massage it. We pull it down away from the diaphragm. Almost, I say 80% of the patients I test for this have it. And there are days where I'll see 8, 10, 12, 15 new patients. Every one of them has this as part of their treatment plan. So you take the stomach, you pull it down away from the diaphragm, the acid reflux, the heartburn, the burping, the gas, the bloating, that many times goes away. But more importantly, you're able to break down your proteins to produce neurotransmitters, produce amino acids that produce neurotransmitters, and that helps the mental stress. So mental stress can be caused by physical problems, can be caused by chemical problems, can be caused by other things too. But let's get the physical and the chemical fixed. And then in many cases, the stress goes away or gets more manageable. That's our goal. 
make your body much more manageable. So we're talking today about things that distract you. We talked earlier about technology and how it's distracting. Now we're talking more about physical things. So there are techniques you can use. Of course, there's meditation, there's yoga, there's things like this. But if a bone is out of place, it's pinching a nerve. You got to go to a chiropractor and get that bone put back in place. We're the only doctors that are trained to realign all 206 bones in the body to take the pressure off the nerves. So if you have these issues, just come see us. Stop wasting time. You know, people come in every day. Oh, Dr. Joe, you were right. I should have come in sooner. Oh, I know. Other things that can distract you. Fatigue. How many people are tired all the time? Raise your hands. How many of you are too tired to raise your hands? A lot of you are. Fatigue is a big issue and it's dangerous because not only is it affecting your job and your family, but again, you have to drive a car. You have to raise children, some of you. You have to operate heavy machinery. You have to do something as simple as put food in a garbage disposal. You don't want to get your hand caught in there. And so fatigue is a big issue. And, and patients come in, of course, in our offices, the number one reason they come see us is for pain, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, car accidents. Number two reason they see us is for digestive issues, heartburn, acid reflux, diarrhea, constipation. And we're really good at getting to the cause of the problem and not just treating the symptom. But almost all the patients come in and say, Doc, I wish I wasn't so tired. So last study I read, and I may be wrong on this, oil was the number one import into the country. The number two import into the United States is coffee. Why? Because about 70 to 80% of the people do some type of caffeine stimulant every day. And so people line up and spend big money for a cup of coffee, which I still can't comprehend in my life. Make it at home. It's a whole lot cheaper and it's a lot less time. So fatigue is a big issue. So it can be caused by a lot of things. Pain, of course, is exhausting. Uh, not sleeping well. We talked about digestive issues and serotonin, and serotonin becomes melatonin, which helps you sleep. So many times the digestive issue is going to prevent you from sleeping properly. Again, that's a whole nother show. But we want to get to the cause of your fatigue. Now, people ask me all the time, Dr. Joe, what can I take for blank, prostate issues and digestive issues and hair loss and, uh, I don't know, bad breath. And I mean, I get, we get tons of uh, emails uh, on our website, drjoe.com. If you have a question, you could send it to me through the website. But the protocol that I put people on just so they can start to feel better right away is Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, Dr. Joe's Nitric Oxide, Dr. Joe's B-Complex, and Dr. Joe's Adrenal Support. Now, I'll go over them slowly. I believe the world would be an amazingly better place if everybody at least took a quality supplement every day. And what I recommend is the minimum supplements for my patients and for myself included, Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two powders. It's a scoop of each. They taste great. I like the mint flavor, by the way. There's mint and plain Super Greens. I like the mint. Go with my suggestion. And I take a scoop of each. I shake it up in a little ball jar I have with some coconut milk or almond milk. First thing I do in the morning, I drink that down. It tastes great, and it starts my day. I haven't had a cup of coffee in 40 years, maybe. Uh, I, I, I don't understand why people drink coffee. There's so many other things you can do to give you natural energy that isn't going to get you shaky that you should probably be doing that. And again, Super Green is an essential source minimum. Dr. Joe's nitric oxide support. Scary how much energy this is going to give you. Uh, it says take four on the bottle. I'm going to tell you this. Take one first day. See how you feel. Take two the next day, three the next day, four the next day. I have to take them in the morning. If I take them at night, I cannot sleep. Now, a little trick I'll do, and I'll tell you a little secret I do, because I get tired too sometimes, folks. Yep, even an old guy like me. I take two in the morning, and then after lunch, if I need a little boost, I'll take another, uh, another one or two nitric oxides. It'll buzz you. I was talking to my friend Tim the other day, and he said he took some in the afternoon, and he's an athlete. He worked, bikes a lot. And uh, he said, man, I tell you what a difference it makes when I'm biking, and I heal faster too because it opens up the blood vessels and increases circulation to the body. He said, I messed up the other day. I took one about 5 o'clock at night. He goes, can't do that, man. Couldn't sleep that night. He says, it felt great. Couldn't sleep though. So nitric oxide and super greens an essential source are neat little ways to give you that boost of energy. I also add B-complex to that because B vitamins will give you energy and then adrenal support to help heal the adrenal glands. Because the key here is I don't want to just burn you out on stimulants. The adrenal glands are going to be healed by something called adaptogens, which are herbs that are found in the adrenal support to help the adrenal glands heal. So we have an energy protocol, if you will, super green central source, nitric oxide, B-complex, and, and a, a adrenal support. 
But again, that's not instead of a good diet. That's not instead of chiropractic care. That's not instead of getting sleep. It's in addition to. But that's part of my regimen every day. I take that part of my supplements. I take omega-3 fatty acids, digestive enzymes. I take a bunch of other ones, male hormone support, uh, estrogen regulator to keep my hormones balanced as I'm getting older. So there's a lot of things you can throw into the mix, but that's the minimum, I would say. Let's do that. And if we can fix the fatigue issue, you're able to focus more efficiently. And that's what we're talking about today is why you're losing concentration. Why can't you focus? The nitric oxide is godsend because it increases circulation to every part of your body, including your brain. And so the brain works more efficiently too. And so that's kind of nice for attention and, and focusing. Uh, if you're hungry, that can be an issue too. I know I have my supplements in the morning and then I usually have maybe a piece of fruit. This morning I had an orange. And then right around 10, 11 o'clock, I start getting hunger again. So what happens is I don't feel hunger pangs right away. I just notice that I'm not focusing as well. And then I'll feel a little shaky. And then I'll say, okay, it's probably time. I got to eat something and then I'll have a snack. So if you're hungry, that can be a big issue. So you want to address that issue, but you only want to eat good foods. The best foods that you can eat are what? Fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. So in my office desk, I have a drawer, top right corner, and I keep all my snacks in there. And I have nuts and I have a trail mix, of course, organic trail mixes. Uh, I have some seaweed in there, which really isn't a health, uh, it's a healthy snack, but it's not going to fill you up. Um, so I always have something I can grab. I got some dried uh, organic mango right now. Uh, I've got, I had some jarred Brussels sprouts the other day. I ate those. So I eat weird stuff, but good stuff. And I know that the lighter I eat, the more energy I'm going to have. And here's a little test that you can do. Dr. Joe's test, the, test du jour. Have a salad one day for lunch. And don't put blue cheese dressing on it and a bunch of, you know, junk in there, cheeses. And just have a salad. Maybe you can put some nuts in there. Maybe some shredded almonds or walnuts or something along those lines. And in my book, one of my books, Eating Right for the Health of It, I have a whole chapter on salad dressing. So if you don't know what to make, you can go there. And it's on the website, drjoe.com. And have a salad for lunch and see how you feel that afternoon. The next day, I want you to have two slices of pizza and a soda. Yes, I'm giving you permission to have two slices of pizza and a soda. See how you feel. You're going to feel awful. I promise you, you will not be able to concentrate nearly as well as you did when you had the salad. And so many people have such a bad diet that they have no idea how tired and sickly and, and unfocused they are until they change their diet. And they say, oh my gosh, this is normal? This is what I'm supposed to feel like every day? And she says, yeah, this is what normal is. You never knew what normal was. You never had normal before. And so it's exciting. And you say, oh my gosh, you know, I really miss those pizza and soda days but it's not worth it. When you can get to that point in your life where you can say it's not worth it, that's when you know you've hit a whole nother level of healthcare in your life. It's not worth it to be sick. I miss alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, but they're not worth it. I'd much rather be on top of my game, look 20 years younger than I am, have energy of coming out my ears. I'd much rather have that than a momentary pleasure of having a, a, a cheese pizza. It's just not worth it. Now, there are vegan pizzas out there, gluten-free vegan pizzas. They're okay. They're not good for you, but they're not as bad for you. But still, trust me, when you experience optimum health, you're going to say it was not worth it. And I promise you it's not. So try it. See if I'm right. If you have pain, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, come see us. Chiropractic offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We have a medical division as well. We have pain management in the medical division, PRP, stem cells. Uh, PRP is we take platelets out of your own blood, spin it down, and inject it back into your body. And those platelets are growth factors, and they can stimulate new growth. And pretty amazing stuff happens with PRP for knee arthritis, hand arthritis, shoulder issues. Uh, we can do injections into the shoulder if we need to to control the pain. In fact, I was just talking to one of my physician's assistants, and the patient, uh, they had gotten chiropractic care, but they, they weren't holding their adjustment. So we sent him over to our physician assistant, and he poked on their shoulder. He said, it's like hitting a rock. So all these muscles were so spasmed. They said, let's go ahead and do some trigger point injections into these muscles to get them to relax. Then we can go in and do better chiropractic adjustments. And we did that. And it was amazing. Crazy results. Because the patient was so tight that we had to get them to another level. And so we used trigger point injections on them. So if you have a health issue, go to our website, drjoe.com. Book an appointment right now. My doctors fill up very quickly. 
So if you want to book an appointment, you want to get in line quickly and try to get in as soon as possible uh, because we, I hate to turn patients away. It kills me when patients want to make an appointment. We can't. Uh, the reason is our doctors are good. It's really simple. So if you want to make an appointment, drjoe.com. So we're talking today about reasons uh, you get distracted. And we talked about pain and digestion and the brain breaking down, uh, stomach breaking down proteins into amino acids to produce neurotransmitters, supplements, uh, chiropractic care. So there's a lot of things that we can do to help with that. Depression, of course, we said that that's real. But many times with depression, it's a digestive issue. It's a nutrition issue. It's rebooting the brain issue, the cross crawl. It's pain. I can't fix some things that are causing you depression. I can't fix death of a loved one. But if we can fix the chemical issues, the digestive issues, and the physical issues, you're able to deal with the mental issues a whole lot better. And that's why I'm so excited when patients come to us that are depressed and they start to come out of their funk. And it's really exciting to see that, getting to the cause of the problem, not just treating the symptoms. Medications, of course, can help you lose, make you lose focus. Uh, that's a big issue. So you have to start thinking about what medications am I taking? Look at the side effects. And then the question I have for you is, I don't want you to give up your, your medication. I want you to see if there's anything we can do to help get you better so you don't need the medication. I don't want to take you off your medication. I want to get you healthy enough so you don't need it. So we have shows on blood pressure. We have shows on depression. We have shows on digestive issues. We have shows on cancer. We have shows on pain management. All of them are on the website, drjoe.com. If you just type in what you're looking for in the search bar and hit enter, chances are we've done a show or a lecture or a podcast on the topic you're looking for and what can be done about it. Uh, we've done shows on men's health, erectile dysfunction. I get that question a lot. Listen to the men's health show, prostate issues. Talk about that. Women, hormone imbalances. We talk about that a lot. So the website is just a plethora of knowledge. I remember Herman Cain uh, unfortunately passed away. He was a good friend of mine at the station. And he said, Dr. Joe. You are a plethora of medical knowledge. He said, I'd like to sit and pick your brain for days. And I was very flattered by that because Herman Cain was a, a great man. Um, but I was very flattered that he listened to our show and considered the, the knowledge that we were sharing with the world that important. So it was kind of neat. So medication can do it. Again, I'm not saying come off the medication. Let's get you well enough so you don't need the medication. And then, of course, ADD. We talked about that a little earlier. We did a great show on ADD and ADHD. I did an article on it, too. Um, if you go to the website, drjoe.com, just type in ADD. Uh, the article I wrote, it, we talk about fixing the stomach. Because we said earlier that the stomach's main job is to take proteins and break them into amino acids. And the amino acids have different jobs. Like the amino acid tryptophan becomes serotonin, which helps you focus. Tyrosine, the amino acid, becomes dopamine, which gives you pleasure. Glutamine becomes GABA, which helps suppress pain and, and produces norepinephrine, which gives you energy. And so... If we can break down our food more efficiently and then add supplements to that, now the body is going to be rocking. So again, the minimum supplements I recommend would be Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. If you're talking about energy, I would add nitric oxide, B-complex, and adrenal support. All of those are available on our website, uh, drjoe.com. You can order them. We ship the day we get the orders in, unless it's a weekend. Or you can go pick them up. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Come into the office, pick them up, save shipping costs, and we'd love to meet you. And then consider making an appointment to come see us. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, if you just want to get well, come see us. Again, offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We have one goal. We want to be your doctor. We want to get you well and keep you well. So the website's a great source of information. The supplements are on the website. If you have any questions, send them to me through the website, drjoe.com, and you can book your appointments right online, drjoe.com. We accept all, almost all insurances, car accidents, sports injuries. I've been in practice 36 years. There's very few things we haven't seen. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Tell your friends about the show. Follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito.